You bitch! I'll tell you, you stole my man from me! I hate you! I hate you so fucking oh. much! You fucking bitch! Mr. Meridian is everything to me! It's Officer Audrey, dear. Hello? Hello, Officer Audrey. 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 Hello, dear. It's Jennifer from White Lady Funerals. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm just calling because I haven't spoken to you since your um, rough night out where you got, um, what's the word the kids are using? You got absolutely yeeted by that um, a flying pole thing in the car uh, park. Yes, yes. Uh, I just wanted to see how you were feeling, dear. Yeah, good. Good. Um, okay. I'm actually I'm on a date. Oh, right I now. I better let you go then. Who are you on a date with? Uh, I can't say. Oh. I, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye bye, dear. Oh, she's on a date! She on a date! Oh, oh! Hello, hello officer. Um, dear, how's your date? Uh, it was good. Where did you go? Uh, we went to the Yellow Jack and, oh. and then the Vinewood sign. Oh. In a limo. Any hanky panky? No, but I oh. a bit of kiss. Ooh, are you are you guys keeping a secret for now? Yeah. Am I allowed to play a little guessing game? No. Oh. Are they a police officer? I'm not. I'm not uh, giving you any police. Oh, all right. Uh, yes, hello. This is Jude Flea from White Lady Funerals. How are you? Hey, it's Sam. Oh, hello. Oh, Mr. Moretti. How are you, dear? Very good. I uh, didn't. Do you mind if you come down to the unicorn, please? Uh, yes, dear. I'm just with Officer Andre. Um, oh, I just got to say a quick back about her, and I'll be there as soon as possible. Of course, no problem. Dear. All right, dear. Bye, bye. Uh, Andre, Andre, dear. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, on on shift. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. You're you're a police officer. You do police things. Well, have a safe shift, dear. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here, but um, we'll have a girls' night soon. You know, get on the blinds and um, maybe reveal all your secrets and um, you know, all things like that. You know, nothing to blackmail you, of course. <laughs> no, no worries. Um, all right, dear. Anyway, Cad Cadbury has a hot for you. Bye. Uh, what? Cadbury. Uh, uh, I, Is this um, true? I have just been informed some incriminating information from Officer Andre. What the fuck? What, uh, what sort of information? I have been told that you have the hots for me. I mean, uh, look. That's, that's, um... Look, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I'm not mad. Mr. Moretti has just called me and advised me to make my way uh, down to the vanilla, well, so... Oh, excellent. So perfect that I'm here. Would you like a ride from my... Uh, I was going to ask if you'd business. like a ride in the White Lady Funerals Hurst. I'm, I'm the man, and, and you're the, the war man. So what are you I, trying to say? I, I, I can't I'm drive. I'm going to get my car out, if you'll excuse me. Right, so let me just put the hearse away then. You're on thin ice and due notice. Yes, do you mind if I have a cigarette in the car or a substance? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, dear. I'm just gonna be like. Oh, that's a weird sounding cigarette you have there. It's quite <laughs> large, too. Oh, my goodness. Right, you can have take you me. Ever you, a cigarette before? You can take me to Mr. Moretti now, dear. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's that's fine. Weird looking and sounding I'm just really nervous about seeing him, that's all. <laughs> Guys, relax, relax. It was on my phone, it was a YouTube sound, I Maybe swear to Christ. Fast. It was a YouTube sound. What's Hold on, I'm being fricks, dear. Yeah, all clear. Alright, good. Alright, I'll see you boys on the outside. Right. Um, and if I somehow miraculously don't come out of this building alive, I want a funeral with black man funerals, please, not white lady right. funerals. Black man uh, funeral. Yes, please, dear. Like oh, 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 hello, girls. How are we? Hello, Judith. How are we, dears? Hello. How oh, everybody's here. Hello, Mr. Beretti. How are you, dear? Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm just a little bit tired. That's all. Yeah, the memory. Yeah. Both you are old. Wow, that's a coincidence. Wow, that's. Really... Uh, what? Oh, we have so much in common. <laughs> what? Me and you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You and Cadbury. Oh dear, I don't work for a slave. <laughs> Is that I'm... something I should know about? I'm feeling quite. What's the word? My pacemaker detects something is going on and I'm surrounded by it. Yes, there's all whispers, dears. I gave my phone to an employee, a Cad Cadbury, to set up Twitter for me because he's good at that. Yes. He signed me up to the one with all the swipey left, swipey Tinder. right. What Tinder. Is that? Tinder. Tinder. He signed me up to Tinder. Oh, yes. Somehow uh, it has gone to the stage where I thought I was in a business meeting and then... Uh, you know, out of nowhere, Cadbury says, "Oh, jokes on you! It's a, it's a date." Oh, silly, oh, silly me! It was a 
was a little bit of a prank. My coming. God, please tell me you were not on a date with Officer Audrey. <clears throat> it was a funny prank. <laughs> um, so you mean to tell me that my supposed friend who I spent two hours looking for the other night on top of a crane in which I fell down and endured many multiple injuries in which I was embarrassed by the police force because they got a whole SWAT squad, the chopper, and a whole bunch of EMS to look for her when she was actually here at this facility snorting cocaine. What? And you invited me out on a date the other night to your opening of a club and to the fight club. And you mean to tell me that an ax your slave here, Cabri, Excuse me. Uh, signed you up for a Tinder account in which he accidentally set you up on a date with Officer Audrey, who, by the way, who I mentioned works for the police, dear. That's very critical for your line of work. She's a very lovely lady. She is a lovely her. lady, but this really has just put a spin on things, so... Well, she is, that's what she didn't tell me. You know, and then I did some further digging mm -hmm. um, about, you know, where did you say you were from? Sorry, you were, you were. I am from, um, you know, just don't mistake me. There's two different canals. There's the one that's up north. So that's that suburb's called Farkin Hell. <laughs> and then I live in the normal canal. Okay. And it's not great. And what, there. and what country is that located in? Sorry? I believe that's Australia, dear. Yeah, I know. That's cool. That's cool. Mm. So yeah, so this has all been a, a big, terrible, terrible uh, situation. Yes. Uh, um, so mm. just so I have my understanding, this is date, right? You're making it worse. Who, me? <laughs> what? You want to speak up there, Laura? I heard you. Did you hear that? No. Oh, okay. No, I'll disregard that. Disregard <laughs> that from the juror. Oh, wait. This isn't a court case. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> See, I ran into Officer Audrey right before I came here. Okay. Yeah. It seems yep. you, your, your one of your girls here has to speak for you. I thought you were the boss. Oh. <laughs> here's, yeah. here's the rundown, boys and girls. And um, you might want to grab out your um, pen and papers here if you want to play detectives. As you know, a former detective of white lady detectives, here's my rundown. Oh, you mean the one case that was a failure? That oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> um, and then I heard you went to the uh, Vinewood sign, which isn't exactly, you know, a place to do business, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I heard that there was a kiss involved. I suppose it kissed. At uh, one point during the meeting that you realized this is a date when your tongue was six inches down her throat. Uh, this isn't the first time a man has betrayed me. And the first time I blamed the ex, the John, John, my ex-husband, I blamed him. But I think this time... I don't know, actually. I've lost my trailer for of words. But this this really is quite an inconvenience for me. Well, can't wait till next fight night. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely buying a gun license now, dude, so I'm not even joking. The fuck do you want? I just wanted to give you a, a, no, a lift back there. No, I'm be fine, I thank you. I need the cardio. No, I need the cardio. Me. I need the cardio. It's fine. Thank you anyways. Yes, but I'm sure Officer Audrey would like a lift. I don't think you really need the cardio, ma'am. Your legs look fine. Audrey speaking. Yes, hello, Audrey. It's Jeffrey from White Lady Funerals. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? Well, that's not too bad. I was hoping you were shit. What? Listen. I want to have a word with you. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm driving around on, on duty. You are to meet me at Legion, and I'd pro strongly suggest you come unarmed, dear. Um, I hung up on her. Don't get in the car. Get over here now. What's wrong? You bitch. What? And you know what you did. You, what you, you knew just how important the date Mr. Moretti was to me. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, I thought we were friends, dear. Y you tell me your story. I want to know your story. Uh, well, he's been sending me flowers and uh, like, continuously asking me for a date. He gave you a lap dance. Yeah, there was, right. there was no like girls at the V, so he, uh, he gave me a dance. Right. And go on. And, and then... Uh, and we went on a date tonight. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Because that's a completely different story to what he just told me when he broke my heart. You know what? I thought you were a good friend. You know? You were my first friend in this city. But I, you know what? You can shove it up your f 
fucking ass, dear. What? Wow. This means war. And no, it's not a threat against a police officer. But I swear to Christ, if I see you, I'm going to pretend you're not here. Oh, look, oh. it's Officer Susan. Hello, Susan. How are you, dear? Speaking. Abby, it's dutifully from White Lady Funerals. Oh my God, How you are you, dear? No, I'm not okay because you're crying. <laughs> Something's happened. Oh my God. Uh, I just have to send someone to hospital. Let me call you right back. All right. What's wrong, Jude? <laughs> Officer, Officer Audrey's a cheating hussy skank bitch. What happened? <laughs> she. <Talk to> <laughs> okay. What happened? <laughs> so you know Friday night? You remember Friday night? Yes, I do. Mr. Moretti and I? Mr. Moretti. Yes. Yes, we had a great date. It was it was going well and everything was fine. And then t tonight I arrive in the city and I couldn't find anyone. So I called my best friend, Officer Audrey, and she told me she was on a date. And I said, oh, I'll call you back, dear. You enjoy your date. And then um, I ran into her about a half hour later. Mm -mm. And um, she was telling me about the date. She said she didn't want to tell me who it was. She said it was a big secret. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But then Mr. Moretti called me and invited me to his office. So I thought, oh, this is nice. We're doing a little catch up. And I go yeah. to his office and he tells me that he was on a date with none other than Officer Skanky Andre. Oh, that stupid bitch. That <laughs> freaking bitch. <laughs> So what? did so did Mr. Moretti say like that you guys are broken up now? Yeah, uh, he just said he felt a connection with her. And this then... is a fucking a load of horseshit. Hmm. Yeah. So they started their they started their um their little thing on a cheating scandal. That's bad. This is horrible news. I really hope one of them gets chlamydia. That's all I could I hope for. STDs all around. Yes. Yes. I hope they spread that shit around like she, her legs are probably out right now with him. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Hussy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn hussy. Yes. Definitely investigate that one. Yes, they um, if you like a rundown, they went on a date. They went to some restaurant, and then they went to the Vinewood sign, and he stuck his six-inch tongue down her throat. She told Damn. me, she told me that she wouldn't tell me who it was with, and then I got a call from Mr. Moretti. He called me down to the office, and he said he felt a connection went up, <laughs> and it just was bullshit. Right. Okay, well, um, the hussy. Audrey has been a whore. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we'll definitely investigate that one. Yes. I want you to meet Judith Lee. Judith Lee from Dead Bitch Funerals. Abby? Judith, she's here, Judith. Who, Audrey? She's, Audrey's here. Oh, let me, I'll be there in a few minutes. I'll just prepare myself. Where is she? Where's that bitch? She's right there. Where? Right here. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. This is her. Hello, Officer Hordry. I said, Officer Hordry. You know, after you stole my man. You want to go step outside? No, I feel safe here under the facility of cameras. Don't want you stealing something else of mine. Like the white lady, her. No, not the white lady. We've rebranded to Dead Bitch Funerals. Really? Yes, and we're looking for our first, first customers. Exciting. How exciting! Yes. So Can't you keep you keep ha you keep you keep your hands around where they don't belong, and you might be that lucky winner, dear. Is that a threat? No, nope, not a threat. I didn't use violence, Abby. Did I use violence? No. So you keep on enjoying your night, dear. I hope you lose all the money, and I hope you go running back to your little sugar daddy for more money. You I'm know. Actually, up ninety k. I'm up ninety k. Oh, you know. You bitch! I'll tell you! You stole my man from me! I hate you! I hate you so fucking oh, much! Fuck. You fucking bitch! Mr. Moretti was everything to me! Oh my god! Ladies, Mr. Ladies, oh, no, no. <laughs> he meant so much to I'm me! He meant so much oh, to me! Oh my god, lady! You just wanted to use money! What the fuck? He meant so much to me! How dare you! I just wanted someone to love me! Oh my god! Asshole. Get away from me, you cheating hussy! Stop. I just attacked a police officer. I'm going to jail. Oh no! I'm just parking the car, dears. So, so you're gonna report uh, any, in, anything you want to tell us? 
Uh, my new rebranded business, Dead Bitch Funerals, is going out on a high, I think. I can't confirm she's now going from Judah Funerals to uh, Judah Dead Bitch Funerals. Uh, Dead Bitch Funerals. Dead Bitch Funerals with a B-I-S-H. B-I-S-H Funerals. Yes, we are currently... We are currently uh, observing Miss Judith and her vehicle right now. Yes. What's the problem? I I don't so, understand. Uh, so uh, we got a report that you've assaulted an officer. I mean, I feel, I thought you were going to let us deal with that. Uh, yes, I did. I left you to deal with it. I've been busy and with the new went business. And we looking for it, and she went off duty, and we lost her tracker. So oh, we, searched, we went searching around town. I haven't then... seen her since the big confrontation down at the Seven Eleven uh, near Legion. You mean, you, you mean the casino? No, I haven't been to you the mean, casino mean, all night. You mean, you mean the casino where you were assaulted, eh? No, I wasn't at the casino all night. Really? I don't understand. Really, really, Judith? Yes, really. You're calling me a liar. So, don't uh, make me get my lawyer down here. What exactly does dead bitch funerals do? Well, we, you know, someone passes away, we, you know, do it all the things. So you, so you, uh, so you just rebranded the... Uh, yes, we rebranded, dear. We rebranded. Can't you tell by my brand new uniform? Well, yeah. I, figured that, I figured you became a mercenary at that rate. You know, never, bitch, dear, but, never. I don't so, believe. It sounds like you're, uh, son, we're going to take... Me, uh, Actions in your own hands, you know what I mean? No, like, dear, I can show you the forms from HR that requested the rebranding as soon as possible. HR. Yes. Okay. I'm a franchise yeah. business, you know, I work from the van, so, you know, they, they just send down their orders and I follow them, you know, those no, white no, ladies. Actually, at this time, we're not going to place you under arrest as we do under situa understand your situation, so okay. we're just going to let you know that you're going to be under watch. Oh, okay. So any time you misbehave again, mm. you may face possible jail time and fines, all right? Oh, sweet Jesus, this won't look good for dead bitch funerals. All right, I'll be on my best that's behavior, why, even though I haven't done anything wrong. For now. You'll just be wasting your time. You could be saving people's lives, but anyways. Well, well we are saving your life because... Yes, that hawtery will come kill me. Oh, Abby, I'm oh, so Judith. sorry I got you caught up in this. I, that's okay. It just, I don't know what came over me. I talked them down. What did he say? Hello. I think uh, there is a press conference happening in VU in a few minutes. I think the best time to clear <laughs> your... Uh, Air with Moretti would be at the press conference because everyone's going to be there. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, that's a I... great idea. Oh. That is a fantastic idea. I don't know if I'm ready for EMS that. EMS will be on site in case we need. No, oh, I'll be on my best behavior. I'm, I've got nothing How to hide. Hey, I'm back. Okay, everyone to the VU. Do you want me to like, be your bodyguard or something? Thank you for waiting. <sighs> As saying, I, I am the owner of the Villain Unicorn, and today I hold this conference here to address the allegations that are against my beautiful Audrey, completely defaming her, uh, and I would like to address that. So as a starter, I would like to definitely say I've spoken to Audrey, and, and I have spoken also to the casino management, and I can confirm that these allegations are false, and Audrey is not doing any of these mishaps that uh, the alleged TMZ I would like to do. I, I can <laughs> confirm that this is definitely fake news. TMZ is trying nothing other than to get a quick buck and, and defaming someone oh, in that process. God. Lies, all lies. You want to talk oh, I... lies? No. Questions, questions after Judith. Fine. All right. Um, Judith, don't, make me, don't make me a wish. So shame on you, TMZ, for the fake news. Shame on you. All right. Uh, <laughs> Capri, if you could uh, open... Shame, if you could, uh, yeah, uh, Pixel didn't happen. Uh, Miss Judith, you'll have the next question. Yes, yes, I do have a question. This question is for <laughs> Officer Horbury. <laughs> Good snap. So, is it true that Mr. Moretti made you his spaghetti and you were in a staffist position? That's from a mum machine that calls the bonanese. We went uh, for a you, respectful sir, the... uh, date. Thank you very much. Alright, uh, you sir in the red jacket back there. You might have a question. Uh, is it uh, for you, Mr. Moretti? Is it true that you and uh, Officer Aubrey's grandpa were in the same class in high school? Uh, I would, I would like to. Question. Mm. That, that is a good, that good, is question, a good question, Dan. Uh, shut up, Judith. You're supposed to be unbiased. Uh, um, so that is a good question. Uh, I would like to again deny said allegation. What do you have to I... say to that, you cheating scumbag? I'm cheating. Oh. Cheating. Okay, so what I will gladly address that. First of yeah, all... Yeah, dress it. Dress it like the salad bowl, yeah. Come on. All right, lovely. Oh, my God. Okay, so I, uh, as TMV has notified, I'm not exactly too sure how to use Twitter. So how the hell would I be able to use Tinder? I, I don't know how to do so. I, I have approached Audrey. I, I think she was very beautiful from the point, and I did <sighs> approach her for the date. 
Um, Grind farmer up. seeking farmer, farmer well, wants a wife. Audrey, don't, Audrey, don't darling, would you like to answer or would you like me to? Yeah, sure. Well, I actually met him right here. Uh, I was looking for a lap dance for one of the beautiful girls. Ah, uh, Dez, calm down. She's speaking. Oh, wait, boys, walk him up. I have one last yeah. important This question. city has the death penalty? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the very last question, then that's it. All right. Okay. My important question is, um, what is her favorite bedtime story that you read to her at night? That's beautiful, is it? Probably Twinkle Twinkle Little Cunt. Oh, shit! Take her away, boy! Alright, alright, that's it. No more questions. Thank you, everyone, for coming. It's been great. Hopefully that is a, a little clarification. Uh, fuck you, TMZ. I'm sorry, I'm a bit drunk, eh? Hey, Joel. They both will have it coming to them, theirs. It's fine. If you need someone to let me know, eh? Mm-hmm. It was not very nice, that, that whole conference. I nearly pulled out the baton. I nearly committed. I didn't commit, though.